Hello everybody. Well, this is another video that I'm doing that the Lord placed on my heart to do. Um, good thought about it is I got my lovely wife with me. She said don't put her on camera, but she can say hi. I guess not. Okay. She said hello if y'all didn't hear her. Anyway, you know, during this thing, I mean, right now we are in Bernice, Nebraska. Small little you know, country town, cornfields everywhere. And we sat down in this restaurant and it kind of brought something to me. There was these, uh, I noticed that there was these two guys that came in and they just had a, just a horrible spirit. They kind of like kept the whole mood in the restaurant with the individuals. There was only a few people in there. You know, pretty much everybody was kind of, you could have a sense of a friendly vibe to these two, excuse me for saying it, clowns walked in. And they were critical about everything, with the waitress, how the waitress said hello, how the waitress, you know, spoke, how, you know, the different people, just right, whatever they could come up with to complain about, they came up to complain about. And it kind of brought me to the thing that I noticed that when it comes to other people's jobs, and their walk or whatever it is, just when it comes to other people, we can be highly critical about how they do and how they don't do. And But then when it comes to us, you know, it's like stay out of my business. Now, 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, right around verse 11, says that, you know, we should mind our own business. I'm just paraphrasing it, y'all. And it says that to do your own work, you know, I remember one time we was at church, and I, I tried to, let me preface it by saying, I tried to live my life as it was an open book, and I have really nothing to hide. I try to keep my family stuff personal, it's what goes on between me and Cynthia, but you know, that's just how it is, but if it needs to be discussed, it needs to be discussed. Um, one time we were in church, and um, I called Cynthia by, you know, a pet name I have her by. And this one lady, she says, what did you call her after after I got Cynthia's attention? She says, oh, what did you call her? I said, oh, that's just my wife over there. Yeah, I know that's your wife, but what did you call her? I said, oh, it's just a pet name that we have, you know, for each other. Oh, well, what was it? What did you, what did you call her? And I'm like, man, you know, it's like, come on now, you know, can I have something? So finally I tell her the name. And then she's like, oh, okay. Well, why do you call her that? Is that really your business? So anyway, I told her why, why I call her that. And, you know, and I got to thinking, you know, now had I approached her about her personal business between her and her husband, you know, I'd have been all kind of wrong. And so I think that, you know, we as Christians, sometimes we just got to keep our nose out of other people's business and worry about our own and just continue to move forward because somebody at work may be having a bad day, they might not be quite doing their job the way that you think they're supposed to, but they're still working. So let's just keep in reminder people that, that we just keep the love of Christ in us, you know, walk like Christ, be like Christ, and just worry about our own, amen?